Scorpio, welcome back to Emperor's Light. It's me, Tony, your resident tarot reader. <laughs> we are gathered here today for your spiritual messages. We want to see what the universe has to say to you in regards to love, romance, what's currently surrounding you, what's headed towards you, what you need to know, what's the spiritual advice today. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we may continue to grow the fam tribe here and that I can put out more messages like these in the future for you. Hopefully you've been enjoying these therapeutic storytellings, all right? Drawing out the bad karma, clearing your energies. But let's see what spirit has to say today in regards to your messages. What do we have for Scorpio today in regards to love and romance? <laughs> and I just did Virgo and Libra's reading. Let's see what Scorpio's has to say. What's, what's in Scorpio's energy? All right, so your first message, what's grounding you so far is page of, page of gems. I was gonna say page of coins. So page of pentacles. This could be a financial offer headed towards you. Again, my token of appreciation card, or this could be some sort of a start of a new business. It could also be a small investment as well. You have an amateur content, uh, an amateur entrepreneur. Wanting to create some form of a tangible wealth as well. This was coming towards you. Yeah, I'm getting like a promise ring vibe. The sun card. Yeah, joy and happiness. So yeah, this could indeed be some sort of a small offer. This could be like a young marriage or something like that. Or you're getting accolades from young people. This could be super chats coming towards you or some sort of a support here. A gift that the sun is. But it's happiness and joy. It's shedding the light on something revelation it is also leo energy so a lot of bravery mm, four bubbles resting your emotions this could be some sort of a meditative uh state in regards to your emotions the higher funds religious figure here a pastor or a priest this could even be spiritual systems or governmental systems an entrepreneur this could also be a teacher as well. The hang one, yeah, enlightenment, some sort of a spiritual or religious guidance here. The hangman is Piscean energy. So a healer, right? It reminds me of someone being baptized, right? Childbirth, the sun card, four bubbles, right? Resting the emotions or um, waiting around for something emotionally. This, this reminds me of people waiting around for Jesus to come back. And then we have the religious figure, the Hierophant, baptism here, and the hangman, right? Enlightenment or seeing something from a third person perspective or just looking at something from a different perspective, right? Enlightenment, the six of bubbles, yeah. So it, first of all, it, it kind of reminds me of like children being baptized or like adults being baptized. Um, but it could be some form of a spiritual healing or enlightenment or something like that. It's definitely a happy moment, right? Normally when we hear about childbirth or we hear about someone being baptized or they're taking their religious or spirituality more serious, that's supposed to be a positive moment. Mm -hmm. Three major arcana, the sun card, right? Leo, the Hierophant, Taurus, and the hang one, Pisces. I think these are all very important people here. Yeah. This could even be a family being baptized all at once. Boy, this is just like a lot of joy, a lot of happiness all at once. It's like, it's almost giving, giving me the feeling like uh, Christ is inside of you or something like that. Um, which will help you exude happiness, right? Or something. It, 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 another way I, I can explain this is this is like a family going to like um, Disney World or something like that. And everyone's happy. Everyone's excited. Everyone's getting their wish fulfilled. Everyone feels blessed. This could have been on someone's wish list or something like that. Yeah, this could even be an adult experiencing childlike joy. Like, I never got a chance to do this when I was younger. Or again, an adult. I never got a chance to uh, get baptized when I was younger. Or even with the Page of Pentacles. Like, I never got a chance to get married when I was younger. And now they're having the opportunity to do so. Yeah, the world card. Uh, fulfilling their worldly dreams here. 
Now the world could be the world wide web or the internet as well, but it's travel and Sagittarius energy to guru. So we have the world and Sagittarius, the guru, and then we have the highlighted figure here in the pastoral preacher, the hierophant. We have the sun card, Leo, <laughs> the hang one, and Pisces. So this is definitely some sort of a spiritual enlightenment here, uh, spiritual awakening opening the eyes or something this could be someone realizing that you can actually learn something like adults can learn something from children <laughs> or that you can learn something when you get outside of your own comfort zone and stop blocking yourself yeah scorpio come up out of your come up out of your comfort zone scorpio <laughs> scorpios are about transformation are, are they not and gaining wisdom the only way that you gain knowledge power and wisdom is by exploring yourself exploring different people exploring places different ideas that sort of thing what's the love messages coming towards you what do you need to know in regards to love what spirits love messages for you today let's get another five eight of bubbles detoxing walking away from something here dealing with detachment strength card another leo major arcana so maybe you have leo somewhere in your chart you possibly walked away from a leo here i'm not sure what what this is though was this a breakup yeah an argument five of storms leo's i'm sorry scorpio's opposite would be taurus though yeah someone wanted to be the center of attention or someone is trying to be your center of attention here the storms mental toxicity so we have two eights maybe this, this was some sort of a toxic relationship or or some sort of a toxic event even mm. yeah you got to be yeah you have to be careful of, of what religious or spiritual groups that you you know you might end up getting with some blood sacrificing a cult right even churches all churches you can't get you don't go to right and this is what happens. This is why some people avoid churches because you hear about stuff in the Vatican, how they traffic children, and you hear about churches, how they allow, you know, homosexuality and all that type of stuff. All this, all these different controversies and personal beefs that people are having in church. It's like, why are we in church doing that? Now the crazy part is that's the whole reason church is there, right? <laughs> You're supposed to go to church for fellowship and that sort of thing, right? We all know that. That's the whole point of church. But the people that need church are the people that's in church, right? Those karmic people that's in the church acting like that, that's why church is there. And then we have the star card, double S, two major arcana, the star and the strength. So someone has a lot of great potential, a lot of strength within them. It could possibly be some sort of a great leader or, or people are holding out a lot of hope for this type of energy or this person. Maybe this is you. You shedding light on something. Maybe you're causing a tower moment inside of the church. Or you're causing a tower moment with inside your spiritual or religious group of friends. Possibly your job as well. The king of bubbles. Yeah, this is someone emotionally stable, emotionally intelligent, emotionally mature. This could be a clairvoyant, an energy reader, page of bubbles, right? And then people are getting inspired by this sort of an outburst here. <laughs> this, would, this would be like someone fighting the system. Like all those rap groups that came out in the uh, 80s and 90s that was talking about fight the power. You know, something like that. Or again, this could be like some sort of an outburst. That's some sort of a major event here. And people are being inspired by you or being inspired by this person that's coming towards you. This person may carry some sort of anointance here with them. Yeah. You fall for anything if you don't stand for something. What's the break deck message here for Scorpio? The higher font and the five of bubbles. So the higher font is coming out again. Yeah, and the five of bubbles. So yeah, this is like detoxing. <laughs> so what it's giving me is that <laughs> this is what I'm getting in my head. Someone's able to bat because you usually you have to set up a baptism, right? And a certain number of people is, bat is baptized at, at one point. Because I my dad, right, was in a church for a whole bunch of years after he purchased his house. He started allowing the church to uh, hold uh, um, baptism ceremonies at his house. So every now and then or every couple months, we would have people that would come over to the house 
the whole church and they would get baptized in our pool in the backyard. But what I'm getting here is that someone has, the, they don't necessarily have to dip people in water to baptize them. They baptize people with their presence, right? This may be a speech or some sort of a sermon that they give over a big group of people, right? Their voice is very healing or they bring some sort of a perspective. So this is a, like a, a motivational speaker is what I'm getting. This person may do this as a living or do this for a living. Again, like a preacher or a pastor, but it's unconventional, right? People wouldn't look at them like that. Like people wouldn't look at me as a spiritual teacher. Well, until they have a conversation with me, like based off just judging a book by its cover, People wouldn't traditionally look at me as an exorcist, but that's exactly what I am. <laughs> I help people exercise their demons, exercise their frustrations, right? Their self-doubt and that type of stuff, right? I'm a therapist. So that's what you have here. That's the energy surrounding you. I'm not sure if it, this is the energy that's imprinting on you or that you're partaking in. This could also be the energy that's coming towards you romantically as well. I definitely want to get, want to get a second message in regards to your romance. What's the break deck message here for Scorpio in regards to love and romance? You got 11-11 showing up on a timer here. What's the love advice for Scorpio? Alright, so we got two of Embers. Yeah, someone watching from a distance. This is someone with ambition. They could be a traveler here. Or what I'm getting is that this person has people coming towards, if someone's watching you from a distance, they want to come towards you. So yeah, this could be some sort of a, um, a professional that has people traveling far and wide to come to them for some sort of a hope. The high priestess, yeah, exactly. The high priestess is, all, is almost similar to a hermit, right? The high priestess holds a lot of esoteric and occult information, right? They help people go through spiritual awakenings. It's sort of a, it, it's definitely a teacher. So this could be a spiritual teacher or spiritual enlightenment headed towards someone or someone's coming towards you for. This could be someone that's sexually attracted to you as well. Or you're um, helping someone balance their sacral chakra, which is the sexual energy. The two, and the funny part is, in the Major Arcana, the High Priestess is number two. And then we had the two of Ember. So, yeah, this could be a twin flame headed towards you. Or some sort of a life partner. Let's check the bottom of the deck. And we have all types of cards wanting to show up at the bottom of the deck. Six of Bubbles, healing. Yeah. Uh, past life memories as well. Right. This is some sort of emotional celebration, justice, a relationship right wise counsel as well the truth or honesty you get the queen of bubbles right emotional um this could be like a healer a nurse a doctor a comedian singer or a dancer right someone that does sound healing and then the opposite of the queen of bubbles will be the king of embers right a leader a strategist this could be all the ways that someone sees you or this could be the type of person that's coming towards you here right um believe it or not um Kings really were subject to um, kind of like the advice of their oracles or the spiritualists or of that time, right? And then, yeah, we have mental a mental prison here or some sort of a mental blockage or someone's obsessed with... I would say they're obsessed with getting things right, right? So, yeah, this is someone wanting to get on the right path. This is someone that wants to be honest with themselves and honest with the collective. They want it to be honest in their relationship. They want it to be honest in their artistic, creative endeavors, that sort of thing. So, yeah, this is maturing here, right? Again, some sort of an evolution, baptism, or helping someone get through some sort of a creative gateway or some sort of a spiritual gateway. Again, anointing someone, baptizing someone. Um, exercising someone's demons or something like that. This could even be, just be like relationship advice, um, some sort of a relationship expert, counselor, something like that. But that's what I have for you here today, Scorpio. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one. Peace.